name is Nishan Chadda. I'm the Applications Engineering Manager here at Broadcom, supporting our 1588 product line for the High Speed Physical Airport Group. Today, I'm going to give you a quick demo on, on our 1588 performance testing and how we are measuring for the best in class timing accuracy. The high timing accuracy enables telecom operators and data center architects to build a robust and accurate synchronized Ethernet network using IEEE defined 1588 precision protocol. The need for synchronization in 5G's radio access networks has become more and more important. As new radio technologies and network architectures emerge to support demanding 5G use cases. The 5G applications now demands for tightly managed time and frequency synchronized networks. For this demanding 5G timing requirements, the ITUT G8273.2 standard has enhanced the performance requirements for the synchronization. In this demo, we're going to show you how Broadcom fires are classic compliant for 5G requirements. The fire which we are using for this demo is our fourth generation 1588 fire, famously known as Aperta. Aperta is our latest 60 nanometer NRZ MPAM4 fire, which can support data rates all the way from 10 gig to 400 gig. Aperta is specifically designed to meet class C specifications as defined by the ITU standard and also comes with a MaxSec functionality where user can perform encryption of PTP packets if needed. Going over a setup detail, uh, using an Aperta evaluation board, which has QSF PTT connectors all around to support 10 gig to 400 gig data rates, a Broadcom Tomahawk 3 switch, a Canlex Paragon X1588 tester, and an Ixia as an external traffic source, we are able to test the 1588 performance of the file. The reason for adding an external traffic source and a Broadcom switch is to ensure that the entire 1588 testing is done with mixed traffic profile and not just testing with 16 PTP packets per sent per second from Canlex into the file. This mixing of traffic with the PTP messages allows us to create the worst possible uh, packet delay variation uh, inside the file and then perform the best timing accuracy given the constraints. The device under test, which is our file, is programmed in transparent clock mode. The master and the slave nodes are residing inside the Canlex. In forward direction, master sends out a sync message, which gets mixed with the background traffic stream generated by the Ixia, and then sends up and is sent out into the FI. The FI parses the 1588 packet, timestamps it, and since it's in transparent clock mode, it updates the correction field value with a T ingress. The same packet goes to the next 1588 port where the CF update again happens in egress direction. The final updated CF value then reaches the slave port. The slave in the reverse direction does the exact same operation, and it, but it sends a delay request message. The delay request message gets timestamped twice inside the file, and the final CF update is, is, is achieved at the master node. Calnex looks at these both reverse and forward uh, CF updates over a period of time, and then generates a two-way time error. Quickly going over our Canlex Paragon X uh, 1588 results. Uh, like I mentioned before, we have the master and slave port residing on the Canlex tester, and the Aperta evaluation board, which is a device under test, is programmed in transparent clock mode. We have a live measurement going on. The two way test report is generated. You can see our max minus min two way peak to peak error is comfortably below uh, the 30 nanosecond requirement of class C, and the mean value which is signifying the constant time error is below uh, the 10 nanosecond requirement of class C. We have taken these results over multiple iterations, multiple resets, uh, multiple speed and uh, effect combinations. And also we have these results available for both MaxSec enabled and MaxSec bypass cases. Thank you for watching a demo on our 1588 performance testing. Please log on to broadcom.com and learn more about our high-speed optical files. Thank you.